Hello, uh, we will practice now how to create a table, um, you, a t-test table. Suppose we have here a GPA improvement uh, between two semesters and we also have the scores of uh, females and males and you see we, we call it one male and two female and we want to know if there is any difference between the mean scores of this change between these uh, two groups so because we have two groups we will use and one information that is in the case of GPA we will use independent sample t-test so what we will do here we will move the variable change in GPA and the gender will be the grouping variable and in this case we have to put one one and two and voila we have our independent sample t-test and we can see it seems like our main have higher um, change in the GPA and then we check if that's actually significant yes it is significant uh, we also can see by the Levin test Levin test actually will tell you is you will use equal variance as soon as of equal variance not assumed. If this is less than 0 0.05, you will use this row. If this is larger than 0 0.05, you will use this row as your answer. So in this case, we will use the first row. Now we have to transform this table in APA style. And what I usually do, I do this in Excel. Uh, because it's easy for me to transform it and I will copy the group statistics and I usually copy it in line 8 great and then I also need to copy the independent sample C test I right clicking and copy and I copy that in column G great the next thing is we were talking about that we only need the first row so we have to decide it if we want mean difference and standard error or internal value whatever we need in this case I only will advise to have TDF and P so I go here right click and copy and put it here line G8 and if you notice this is merge so we have to own merge perfect and of course we have to cut this and put it here so far so good uh, I don't need this title because I will have my own title so I use right click and delete this row nice and I also need this being two decimals so I go here and reduce it to two decimals and we change this mean is actually M standard deviation is SD standard error of the mean is SEM and the significant we express with lowercase p um, then I will go here highlight everything and I will take all the lines in the borders perfect because APA don't, don't want um, vertical lines so we only have horizontal lines I go border, I go top and again here I will go to the bottom beautiful since I am here, I will put this in the center. Nice, beautiful APA. Now the next thing I oh for forgetting one step. These all of these symbols have to be italics. Now look beautiful. The next thing I will copy this to Microsoft Word. Suppose you already have your title. Um I will just paste. Here it is. Now it is not of all the page you see here. So what you have to do is you want to have 
in the target page you click any place in the table right click out of feed to window so now it looks perfect okay now check here you have table one gender difference on gpa change is in italics lower and uppercase and i usually put the sample here so number of females 30 numbers of males 30. now if you put the sample here you will need this column but if you put the, the sample here you will need this so you can keep both of them okay so this is your perfect apa style